All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, DNA set. It is DK24. It is the um, upgrade kit for Grimlock from their studio series, uh, Hasbro Studio Series. Uh, and uh, let's see, here's the back of the box. Shows a couple of items, uh, shows all the items that are available with this set here. We have a fully articulated wheelie and uh, some articulated hands and then some panels to cover up. Uh, and then the sword and then the uh, translucent neck piece. All right, here's everything out of the box. And uh, I'm gonna attempt to do this on camera so you guys can see the whole process of putting this together. And yeah. And before I do it, just wanna show you guys my Grimlock. And uh, I love this guy. Uh, he looks really good in uh, uh, dino mode, um, not so much in robot mode. I mean, it's okay. Robot mode's okay, but I like the the dino uh, the dino mode more. Is it dino mode? I don't even know. What. But uh, here's Willy, well uh, Willy, and uh, he is not articulated. And none of the arms or the legs are articulated. He is in a stationary pose. There is uh, shoulders. Uh, there are uh, shoulder joints and uh, hip joints. But uh, everything else is stationary, so yeah, he's in this sitting position. So let's get to it. All right, so here's the first one I'm gonna do. Uh, it's just simply removing the screw here and then adding this panel, which has a hinge, so it covers up the the hollowness of the arm. And so when you transform back to robot mode, the arm can still, uh, the hand can still flip in. And then this panel will just swing outward and then go back in like that. So let's try that. Okay, so I went ahead and installed it and uh, I don't like it and it's not good. Look at that. It doesn't cover up all the way and uh, it sticks out. It's not pushing it on the way. It's, it's, the tolerance is off here. Uh, I think up here, the top, they didn't compensate for this uh, piece being raised. Or, I don't know what they were doing. I mean, how can you not know? I mean, you were putting it together, but uh, yeah, it doesn't stay, it doesn't stay flat. So yeah, I'm not gonna install this. This is crap. All right, the next one we could do, uh, these panels just filling in the bottom of the feet. Cause uh, when you transform them, they're just supposed to close up like that. So it doesn't impede with anything, so. It's just these panels right here. There's one studs on the bottom. Then just a matter of wait, no, that's not the one. This is the one it's the right side. So this one goes in like this. And let's see if it pops in properly. And there we go. There's that. Oops, sorry. There's that panel in. And then the other one should go on top. We'll see which way is this supposed to go. Oh, this is the wrong side. So I should be taking this piece right here. And just like that, just pop that in. And there we go. Look at that. So you can see a comparison between the two. All right, so here, both of them together. And uh, when you're looking at this in robot mode, you're really not gonna see it because it's just gonna be on the bottom. You're never gonna see the, these, but um, it's good to have them because uh, it's not so hollow. Uh, you'll know it, but uh, yeah. Is it really need, need, need it? Mm, not sure. But uh, next up, let me transform back into Dinobot mode and then uh, we'll continue on with the uh, upgrades. So I just went ahead and transformed uh, Grimlock back into Dinobot mode and uh, you can see here uh, it does look nicer back here because uh, the feet are covered up now so you don't see gaps in between there so that's nice I like that and then now the next thing we're gonna do is um, these hands here these are these are not articulated hands and uh, the ones that uh, from this upgrade are fully articulated hands, well, articulated fingers at least. So let's get trans uh, upgrade. 
And to slide these uh, forearms off, it's very easy. All you need to do is just fold inward like that, and it will come right off. And then here you can see the slot is down here. So all you need to do is pop it in from bottom up, and there you go. There's Grimlock's arm. Uh, it's not fully on there. Maybe it's the other one. Let me see if I know what the... I'm gonna use try the other one. Maybe that one will fit a little bit better. So I'm just gonna slide this up. And there you go, right there. And now he has articulated fingers. Three articulated fingers and the wrist moves as well. Rotates. Ooh, super tight, but the wrist can rotate. And let me show you on this side again. Uh, very easy to remove. Just fold it back and then keep folding and it'll come right off. And then now just a matter of popping this one up. Slide this one up and there you go. And when you have uh, articulated fingers, what are you going to do? Of course, you're going to give them the middle finger. So that's what I will do. And uh, this alone is worth the... <laughs> the purchase <laughs> look now he's flipping everyone off look at that that is so awesome so yeah <laughs> it's awesome okay so finally uh no not finally uh next up i need to attach the inside of his root of his mouth um uh, there's the top and then the bottom as well so you can see it's just clear a uh, hollow section and uh what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to unscrew this head off and then put in those panels. Okay, so I went ahead and disassembled uh, the whole head because the neck piece is the next thing I have to do anyway. So it tells you to unscrew all three of these. So once you unscrew all three of these, you can take the face plate off and then you can take the mouth off, the bottom of the mouth, and then you can take the other side of the face off. And then here, this is the eye and the flamethrower piece. And then the neck, you could open it up. It's just two halves together. And then you just slide this off. And then the uh, the head, I mean the face, uh, the eyes will come off. And then here, there's another panel in here. So we're removing, uh, we're replacing these two panels. These two panels. And yeah so might as well do that right now so this is the translucent piece slide this back on here and we slide this back on here and then before we close it all back up we want to put the eyes in as well slide this piece in here which should clamp onto the eyes properly and there it is so this piece is on like that and then it's just a matter of putting the face on here sliding this piece through there's the oh, make sure the eyes are lining up properly in here so kind of get an idea what it looks like and then we could put the roof of the mouth in here let's see here so oh nice it has a little, whoops, sorry, it's a little hole here for you to slide it through this piece right here. So once you slide that in, then the root, uh, uh, roof of his mouth is covered up right there by that piece. And then we'll take the bottom of the mouth, bottom of the jar, and this is supposed to just go in here like so. Just held on with friction. I guess if you really want to, you could glue it down if you really wanted to. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as this. And then this piece can go underneath right here. And then now we could pop the other piece back on. Oh, sorry. If I was not in camera for that. But... E -e. Why is it not closing properly? Oh, let me see the mouthpiece. Okay, there we go. E -e -e -e. 
everything in, everything in properly, I think. Something's not, something's off here. Look at, let me see. Alright, so there's an issue with this. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some shaving down, uh, which is super annoying. Um, this panel, the two pan, the two halves does not come together uh, perfectly. It leaves a little gap. So um, once it leaves a little gap, oh, and also the top section here. Oh god, come on, let's focus on this. The top section here, right here, the top here, it has a little bit of a flashing, which I cannot just break off. I need to sand it down a little bit. Um, that also is an issue that's causing the um, the piece to not fit properly so I need to shave this portion down a little bit and also something in here I think it's well with that uh, centerpiece uh, somehow it's not fitting in properly it has a little bit of uh, uh, it just needs a little bit more room I'm not sure exactly where I need to sand down but uh, there's something in there that's causing this to not close properly not a tight seal that's why the head will not um, will not uh, come together nicely because there's a little bit of a gap so I just need to figure out where those are all right so um, whoops sorry uh, I can't figure out what exactly is causing that issue for now um, but uh, I was able to close it back up, but uh, just had to tighten the screw a little bit tighter than usual. And then, if I move the head up, you can see how the gap starts to starts to appear. So something in there uh, that's not sitting properly. But when his head is down, it's fine. So um, the last thing we're uh, I'm supposed to do is to add these uh, covers over the. Um, over the screw sections but I'm not gonna do that for now and it's not even the same color actually I mean it would be cool if they're the same color but they're not so uh, for now I'm just gonna leave it off because eventually I might have to remove these and then figure out what exactly is causing that gap to appear so for now I'm just gonna do it less like so leave it as is but uh, you can see Grimlock is looking quite nice with the translucent neck and here's a look at uh, really uh, the head scope on the the DNA one is not as good as the Hasbro one let's see I kind of like the Hasbro head a little bit more so I'll see if I could just swap it out and uh, see how that looks on him and I give him the, um, the slingshot already so let me swap the head and show you guys uh, what he looks like because right now he looks like a girl right here the features uh, the facial features just too feminine uh, this one looks much better all right so here's Willie with the 86 studio series head and uh, he looks quite good right now um, as for the color it's a little off uh, this uh, original 86 studio series really has a little darker a tiny tiny bit of darker shade of orange than the rest of him but uh, he, he looks fine to me I just uh, am not impressed with the head with uh, with this it's got very feminine look to him especially the eyes and everything and the tiny mouth but this one's much better so yeah all right, so Willy is a pretty simple transformation, not too hard. Uh, first, raise his arms up. And that will help. And then uh, put his feet together. I just clamps on. Then right there, put his uh, feet down. Then once you have that, open up his chest right here. And lift this whole panel up. There's a piece inside. Make sure you flip that down right here. Opens up like that. And then this go over his head. I'll push his head down a little bit for clearance. Let me see, come on. It was clearing earlier. Why won't it clear now? 
Okay, put his head down even more, maybe? No, it's not clearing his head. <sighs> Alright, I think because this is the original head, it's not clearing properly, but uh, you could force it a little bit, it should clear it, but uh, you might end up scratching a little bit top of his head, but for now, I'm okay, there's no issues here. So once you have this panel up like that, you could close this down and then push his head back in. And then uh, the arms could swing this way, swing this way, and then now it's just a matter of folding his hip section and the waist section all the way down. And this piece right here should attach to the leg section right there. And then these just, there's a little tab right here, supposed to go into the side. So just like that, it taps in like that. And on this side, same thing. The little tab needs to go into the leg section. Just like that. And there you have Willy in vehicle mode. So yeah, on the bottom, you can see uh, tires don't rotate at all, but I'm fine with it. It's just a piece right here. So yeah, pretty neat. It's a little fat, a little wider, but it's okay, I guess. So there's Willy in vehicle mode. So as far as articulation, head is on a ball joint. Uh, I'm gonna autofocus here. Um, it's on a ball joint, it's kind of tight because uh, it's not the correct one. Um, shoulders on ball joint and then yeah, even wrists on, uh, I mean elbows on ball joint as well. Uh, nothing around the wrists and then uh, waist also a ball joint. Hips are ball joint, but uh, there is a clearance issue. If you want his want him to bend his legs, you can see how it kind of st stuck here. Is because they didn't give enough clearance uh, to the front portion of his uh, thigh there, uh, the hip section. So you need to force it over a little bit, and um, in order for him to bend over, uh, the, in order for the legs to be in order for him to have a sitting position so you need to force that over a little bit and then knees 90 degrees then ankles on a hinge joint oh sorry <laughs> golly doing so poorly with this one um there's the hinge joint there and so if you want him to be sitting uh on grimlock you, you can still do that just like that and uh you could have Grimlock here and then kind of have him situated back here. If I could lower the camera down for you guys so you guys can see it, that would help, right? So there, uh, Willy, and uh, let me rotate his head. It's super tight now because it's not the correct head sculpt on him, but uh, we, can, we, got, we got the idea, something like that. So here I got a wheelie uh, riding Grimlock, just like in the uh, cartoon, cartoon movie. So there you go. And uh, overall, the set um, not that impressive. Uh, the most impressive part are these fingers. I like that the most. Uh, wheelie is just okay. The um, translucent neck I like, but there's some issues with it because of. Um, gapping issue uh, so something needs to be done uh, I would probably have to find out where exactly that section is and then sand it down somewhere not exactly sure where and other pieces like that panel was useless so I can't even use that and the feet are okay uh, it helps cover up this section back here so you don't see a gap inside there oh it also comes with a sword which I'll put it uh, on him when I switch him to robot mode, but uh, for now, you see Grimlock looking really nice. I like it, but totally not worth the price tag for this set. And here it is again in robot mode with the sword in hand right here.
Swords Knight. And then here's his original weapon, the blaster. And uh, yeah, there's Grimlock right there. And down here we have Willy again. Let's take another look at him. Again, head sculpt is the original uh, studio series. Body is the new one, the DNA one. Uh, uh, and the slingshot is also the original 86 one. So overall, uh, again, set it's not worth the price tag because um, uh, there are issues with it which you have to uh, end up uh, modifying yourself, modifying it yourself in order to get it to fit properly. Uh, and um, really, it's okay. Head sculpt, not so much. Uh, everything else is good, I guess. Uh, yeah, mainly the neck and then oh and then the the inside arm panel doesn't work So that sucks. So yeah, no, that's no good. So yeah, totally not uh, Yeah, definitely not worth the price tag, uh, but uh, if you still want it uh, You're welcome to pick it up, but uh, there you go. Thanks for watching